my name is Tazneem and welcome to my channel. I'm very aware of how red I am, but I'm kind of into it. I've applied our shade Viola as a thin wing liner, a rosy cheek tint, and then a lippy look to match. And of course, going in with, how cute are these by the way, with some red accessories. And then just my plait for a protective hairstyle. I've been repping the kind of like lower protective hairstyles of recent just because I was doing the slick for a minute and as much as I love that I find it so chic and like gives that instant lift, it does pull a lot on the frontals and yeah I'm not about to have premature balding. Not at age 30. But anyway, to get into this video, I did like a fun little real review of the Met Gala looks on my Instagram and yeah, it got like a bit of a pop in response. So I thought, why not do it here on YouTube because it's a big platform and I can really get into the nitty gritty of my thoughts and feels about this year's looks. I know it's been a week, sue me, I'm late to the game, but you know no time like the present to just like get into my thoughts and feels i have the official vogue you can't see it but the vogue website with like literally all the looks i'm gonna cherry pick the ones i want to talk about um yeah going from like the, my favorites to i guess maybe my not so favorites uh but also disclaimer i'm not dragging anyone this is purely about the fits and my feels uh so yeah let's get into it so to get into the actual theme of the event, it says here that, where does it say? Oh, so the theme was Gilded Glamour, white tie dress code, where they have been encouraged to approach late 19th century clothing through a modern lens. So we're gonna see some twists and turns in, yeah, the looks today. Um, I'm just gonna scroll at random and stop on anything I like. So first up, I'll actually put the images on the screen, um, but I'm looking at Paloma El Cesa. Apologies again if I butcher a lot of the na these names. I'm gonna try my on hardest to pronounce them correctly. Um, but yes, the first one is Paloma El Cesa. She's like that beautiful plus size model. I think she might be like, I wanna say like Dominican Republic background, something of that nature. I'll probably look it up and like add it as well to the screen. Her look was a 10 out of 10 for me. It was by Coach, which I thought Coach was kind of like, you know, the grandma brand, but I feel they're pulling out the stops. Like they have her dressed in Coach, but then they also have like Selena Gomez as the spokesman and the face of it now. So they're really trying to do the upgrade and I think they've really smashed it out of the park with Paloma's look because this is beautiful. It is very much giving bad bitch, pretty, at the same time, edgy haircut. Like, you can just tell she knows how to throw it down. Do you know what I mean? Is that a bit too X-rated? But like, I feel she knows some things. Okay, so next up, ooh, okay. Emily Ratatouski. Again, names, not gonna be my best. Um, why do I feel like it's appropriating Rio de Janeiro, Carnival, but like, I'm just not into it. There's something about it. It just feels a little, I'm gonna cherry pick bits and bobs of like culture and not really give it any reference. What is the mindset behind it? In a vintage Versace look from spring summer 1992. Okay, so it's Versace. I don't know, you know, usually I like a bit of Versace, but they are known to go big and kind of beyond. I feel they've missed the mark with this. Do you know what I mean? Like I would have loved for this to be like a ethnic designer of some sort like kind of bringing back to the roots because I feel they've pulled a lot of inspiration from like a culture but I don't know it's just not doing what it's meant to do for me okay now we have Hailey Bieber in a feathered kiss gown designed by Anthony Vassalero from Saint Laurent 
this is a pretty look. This is really, really pretty. I think she did the damn thing. She looks very elegant. The skin is flawless. The flouncy, floaty, floofiness of the feathers is just 10 out of 10. Um, just unfavorable personal opinion. Why don't I like her? Why, why is there a roadblock between me and Hayley Biebs being besties? I don't know what it is. I find... I find there's something about her that's not that likable. But I know, like, from her interviews and whatnot, she's, like, always sweet as pie. So let me know. Let me know what that is. What What's the internal kind of struggle going on in my, my mind? Um, okay, let's, like, flip it to the next one. Who else? Who else was, like, interesting? Oh, okay. Um, what did we think of the court Courtney... Kardashian, Travis Barker, what are they called? Like the Kravis. The Kravis confusion is what I want to call this. Um, I mean, he looks great. I love the like kind of sk like skirt kilt vibe on top of the trouser look. Very cool. Very like dandy-esque almost. Um, hers, I get it. So like apparently this was meant to be like a deconstructed look of his. So I think it's kind of cool, but like, I don't know. It's just a little bit like they were doing the design on the mannequin and then like ran out of time and just like whacked it on her doesn't feel complete is what it's giving me like i know it's meant to be like intentional with the lines and like the markings but it just looks messy and the hair the hair was not herring like i think you just could have could have brought it could have brought it you know Okay, so Lily James in Versace, super cute. Like this a lot. Like, I don't know whether it is doing the absolute most, but that's okay. Sometimes you don't really need to go big, big, big. Um, I just love the silhouette on her. I think she looks really pretty. She know what she looks like. She looks very mermaid going to the ball for the first time. Um, you know, Poseidon's princess. Like, that kind of situation. The beading is pretty. This, like... Is it, would you say like an ashy, an ashy pastel -y purple? Lavender, I think would be the official term. Um, really pretty on her skin tone. I love like the bodice. Is it a bodice? What's this area? This area, um, the neckline, how it drapes. I find this really gorgeous. I would be very happy to have worn this and like, you know, strutted down the red carpet. Also, can we just have a moment for how filthy this red carpet is like where why what it feels like this carpet is from 1982 okay now for one of my faves Nicola Colon from Bridgerton she looked amazing she's wearing Swarovski Swarovski Swaros, Swaros, Swarovski why can't I pronounce that anyway you know the one um they have nice dishware and crystals um she looks good i really like this look it is nodding to bridgerton i love the pastel pink and the black and like these feathers that are just like kind of antennaing out of the dress it just is cool like it's just a very elegant extravagant but yet simple take on the theme and yeah i think she did really really well so bravo Good for you. First, um, first, uh, what's it called? Met Gala thing for her. Oh my god. Okay, so we've got Carla Delevingne. Why does this girl do the most? Why does this girl do the absolute most? And like, she's just making me cringe. It's the gold, like, body paint with the nipple tassel, with the satin suit, and like, the cane and the bedazzled eyes like I just don't know why why like why I, I it's not for me it's not one of the yeah I'm almost speechless um it's a no but you know what I think because she's been invited so many times to the Met Gala um this is like Halloween for her I feel she just wants to dress up show up show out so maybe this was very intentional and kind of like a joke um yeah, I'm not into it. It's a no from me. Ooh, okay, Tessa Thompson. She's from, um, what is it? 
the like new version of Men in Black. She plays one of the agents and I think she's in that movie with the new Rocky um, with, uh, oh my god, why don't I know his name? He's the finest specimen out there. Um, Michael Jordan B. Michael B. Jordan. Oh my god. Um, anyway, she looks really cute. She's giving like dream girls. I'm getting dream girls vibes vibes from her um the long like satin heeled boot is cute i love the tool like tail train woof to it um and then this part no i really like this look i think it's super fun she looks like cotton candy i want to just take a bite um the eye makeup i can't see from this photo but i can imagine it's quite pretty it's got like pinky tones the hair suits this dress very very well um yeah this is cute i really really like this look i kind of want to like have a version of this but like for a cute sunday brunch with the gals you know okay so now we have gwen stefani and um this is not bananas no this is very much sour grapes for me um i'm really not into it like even if it was a different color like first of all the fluorescent bleh, i can't even say it the fluorescent green i'm just not liking i feel it's such a like harsh color like fluorescent green and like a street where I don't know like I love green and I love lime green but like fluorescent green it just is too much of a nod to the 80s and the 80s for me was just like not it like I'm so glad I'm not an 80s baby or like born in the 80s because it just was not it wouldn't have worked for me and my aesthetic um yeah it's a no the silhouette like the two-piece the crop top and the skirt like I don't like that like just do a whole gown now to another look I absolutely love, Jodie Turner-Smith. She looks incredible. Like, first off, let's talk about the makeup because I am obsessed. Like, I think they've really, like, muted her eyebrows so it just kind of looks like skin. And then they've got, like, some slight bejeweling there. So, like, you just get a glint of that. Then the skin is all very glossy but one tone. It just looks incredible. It looks very, like... You know those oil paintings of like cherubs and like um what's that classic painting with the girl and the oyster like it's giving me that kind of regalness and the hair is like a beautiful kind of i don't know you know the flapper girl kind of crimp um the hair and makeup alone is stand out but then the dress is just so beautiful on her like i don't know whether everyone would be able to suit this dress because it's very like revealing it's got the cuts and um you know slits and bits to it uh but on her it is just it looks like i don't know like it's part of her skin and this is just like you know just part of her like it's very very pretty very goddess um this maybe might be my favorite Okay, Emma Stone, I love this dress so much, but for me on like, you know, a cute dinner date with my, with my mans, you know, this is so pretty. Or you know what would be amazing? Like this as like a little like second outfit for your wedding. It's just so pretty. I don't know whether it was like showstopper for the red carpet but maybe that's okay. Like I don't know what I'm expecting. I'm like, there's half of me where I'm like, you need it to come in with like all guns blazing but then like my heart of all hearts is just really gravitating towards like the simple pretty elegant outfits and i mean you know this is very that so okay i see you emma stone okay i don't know what couple this is but claire danes and her mans is um i want to be in a thruple with you they are just very much giving white and wealthy and yeah, like I want to be on your yacht drinking your rosé that you uh, produce yourself on your Portugal vineyard. You know what I mean? Like it is just wealth at its highest peak. Macy Williams, you're cool. You're just cool. You're a cool girl. I want to do shots with you. Uh, the hair, I love it. Um, the makeup, great. The like porcelain skin mm-hmm um 
the dress. Is it a dress? Yeah, it's a dress and then like this over the top extravagant kind of jacket that's slouched. I love it. I think this is super duper cool. I want to have cigarettes with you, like, you know, and talk shit about. Or no, not even talk shit. I don't think she's even a talker shitterer. She is very much like, let's be philosophical. At least this look is giving philosophical. Um, and she's drinking like either like a red wine or like a whiskey you know, on the rocks. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. But yeah, I want to be wherever you're at. So invite me. Oh, Kate Perry. I kissed a girl and I did not like it with the dress, you know. Um, I don't like this dress. I don't like it. I don't like it. It is not one for me. Um, too much fabric. Too much fabric. Uh, maybe the fabric would have been cool like in a different colorway like maybe if it was all pastel something you know um i'd be a bit more into it but it's just if dare i say giving a little bit of garbage bag vibe draped around the body you know oh okay i am losing steam so i probably got two more left of these little reviews of me um let's go on to the next one we've got kiki elaine i actually don't know what this beautiful specimen of a creature is from uh, but she is very much a beautiful specimen like I said she looks incredible I love this entire look from the gloves to the prettiness of this dress how flouncy and flouncy it is like I would love to have this dress in my wardrobe and just you know you know on a random Sunday put it on and dance around the house like it is very very pretty um, the makeup I love it and the afro hairstyle on her like I just love this this is very much a good cohesive outfit and I think you know does the theme justice what's one more that we can you know finish up on okay this outfit is definitely not doing much but I love this actress she's from squid game and she just looks good. She just looks good. I love these kind of like 60s um, mini dresses with like the 60s boot as well. Um, I want this entire outfit for next Friday when I'm out with the girls. Um, yeah, I'm into it. Anyway, that is my final cherry picking review of the Met Gala 2022. Let me know if you enjoy these types of conversational videos. One, because I really enjoy doing them. They're quite easy, kind of just like get into it. The preparation is next to none. Um, so if you're a lazy gals like myself, uh, it's fun. It's, you know, I get to shoot my shit. So I'm going to leave the video here. Thank you so much for watching and yeah, I hope to tune in with you soon. Bye.